Good morning. Good morning. To, today it's about 8:20, so we got about 10 minutes until the market opens, and I'm feeling good. But to be honest, be to, to be completely honest, most days I feel pretty good. But today specifically, I woke up, hopped on the scale, I was like 193 pounds. I took a look at my portfolio, and everything's doing pretty good. But I could not sleep last night. I had a hard time. My mind was racing. I was trying to figure out what to do with these stocks. You see, I'm thinking about getting out of Nike, getting out of PayPal, and getting out of GoPro. Specifically, though, I want to talk about GoPro this second because it's crazy to see how yesterday, before the market opens, I can be up like $6. And after the market closes, around midnight last night, we hit negative six dollars which actually should have tapped me out of the market now i don't have my trades executed set to execute during aftermarket hours so they didn't and luckily by the time we woke up today we we're at break even but it leaves me wondering what is the smart thing to do what is the wise decision for my investment and the reason why i'm having this dilemma is because I wasn't strict with my buy-ins on those three stocks. I feel like I FOMO'd in a little bit and yeah, I didn't, I was so worried about missing out that I did not make sure to follow my checklist. And that resulted in me having bad entries, which means I've been riding a little bit of a roller coaster. For two of these stocks, the reasoning is basically the same. You see, I use a indicator called TD Sequential. Now, I don't follow it to a T, but the gist of it is the closer you are to a nine candle, the sooner it is to buy or sell when it's reversed. So green nine is a sell, red nine is a buy. And right here, I'm looking at PayPal. I'm sitting at a seven green candle, which means we're running out of momentum or should be running out of momentum soon. And we have a far way to go. We're already topping off here and starting to round out. But hey, it has a huge kickback. But this top wick is making me second guess myself. Same thing with Nike. We're on an eight weekly candle. We have a reversal pattern showing. And I just don't see how we're going to be able to hit it. So I'm debating if I should just take whatever profits I can get. And now looking at GoPro, I don't know, it, uh, I guess GoPro is looking pretty strong. GoPro is looking like something I should probably stick into. So now the question is, do I leave Nike or PayPal? Market's opening in four minutes. So let's see how this goes. I'll keep you up to date. I figured it out. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take PayPal and I'm going to drop the take profits to just under the weekly resistance. This is going to be about 1% gains. So I'll still have that 1% 1, 1 gain for 1% loss risk, risk reward ratio. Now for Nike, I'm going to raise my stop loss. I'm going to bring it to just under the last daily low. I feel like these are the most rational decisions. Fingers crossed. There's a saying in trading, you make what you take. That's why today I took a little bit of profits in both Ross and PayPal. And I think today's video will be, it'd be good to go over those trades, starting with Ross. And the technicals had me very confident in this trade. I started off by looking at the MACD. It was showing a buy signal with a weekly, with the weekly continually pushing up. The weekly has come off of a high, a higher high and a higher low. We are on a weekly two green candle, the daily five green candle, but with it breaking above the res resistance, we have the ability to possibly get to a nine green candle. Hourly chart showed a slightly ascending triangle, setting higher lows, placed an order on the close of a 15 minute candle above resistance. Sound trade as the take Profit is well under the top of the trend, and stop loss is well under support. The only reason I exited this trade early is because I was getting a lot of sell signals from my TD sequential. The 15 was on a 
Uh, the 15 minute grabs were on a 13 minute run, which is crazy. The hourly was showing a sell signal. The two hour was showing a sell signal. The four hour was about to show a sell signal. The daily was running up. So I decided that it was in my best interest just to take profits and possibly reestablish a position in a day, two, three, four days. So yeah, that's how Ross ended up. With Ross, the exit is $119.90 with two shares, total profit being $5.34. And yeah, I'm happy about that. My trade with Ross was the ideal trading setup. And honestly, I would be in it longer if all the graphs weren't telling me to sell. PayPal, on the other hand, was a much longer, different story. At the time, the technicals were sound. The MACD was showing a buy signal. Weekly is in an uptrend and on a green candle. Six. Daily is set a higher high and drop to support setting what I hope was a higher low. Hourly graphs went parabolic. Fell back to the Fibonacci 50% line. I bought at the close of a 15 minute graph. There was a higher high and a higher low set. In the moment, I thought this was a really good trade. I was patient, I bought it on support, and I set a stop loss well below multiple supports. But this is how it all played out. Okay, the reason why I exited early with this trade is because of the entry. When I got in at the time, I believed that the support was gonna hold and it did not. Instead, it dropped down multiple supports and it did it multiple times. We had several times where we ran up to this, to this point, to this weekly support and then dropped down to this specific support. So in my mind, I'm thinking, hey, let's, let's try that. Just last night, or just yesterday, we were up $6 in the morning, and then at midnight, we were down $6. That's, that's the entire swing. I bought right in the middle of that. So why not sell close to the support or the resistance and possibly buy back when we fall back to the support line or buy back after we break the resistance and prove that that line, that weekly resistance is now support. Now what I learned with this trade was don't, don't buy off a parabolic drop. Wait until we actually break above and break above the moving averages. I feel like that point would have given me a much stronger entry and a much, much more peace of mind. Yeah, that's my trades. And I'm excited about them, but only time will tell if it was the right decision. But as for yesterday's video, it looks like I don't need to put the extra $200 in there to, into the account. I appreciate all of your suggestions, but it looks like we got a couple hundred dollars of trading capital now, so we're just gonna play with that. Um, yeah, wait, oh wait. I promised I was gonna show you guys something. Change of plans, change of freaking plans especially since it turns out i ended up getting a copyright strike today this is future anthony by the way in case you couldn't tell but i had this whole idea that i was going to show you guys a gift i got for myself i had a little best buy credit uh after christmas and i decided to spoil myself a little bit with uh because i, I deserve it i earned it i mean i feel like I, sometimes it's nice to spoil yourself Anyways, I had this whole idea. I was gonna walk into scene, I was gonna throw the bag in the air, have it fall in front of me in slow motion, land on a table. I was gonna spin the bag, have that morph, slap that box, prop it up. You know, just a fun little video to show you guys how much, or that I got these brand new headphones that I've been wanting since like, they came out. But, I can't use music. It's all good. Maybe in the future we'll end up paying for a music subscription or something. But I appreciate you guys if you made it this far. But if you don't mind, hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe, and don't forget to do amazing things.